At two years old, Kirk Keller Halls was adopted from an orphanage in Vietnam. After growing up in America raised by Christian parents, the 47-year-old never imagined meeting his biological mother. I've grown up ever since I was old enough to know that I was adopted with the notion that my parents perished in the Vietnam War. But that's not what happened. This amazing turnaround began just weeks after Keller Halls received an email from a woman urging him to give her a call. Hello? Yes, hello, who that call? Uh, yes, I'm uh, returning a call to this number. I am looking for my son. I've been looking for him for, for a long time, and I believe you are my son. Fast forward to June 6, 2017, when CBN News documented the long-awaited moment for Keller Halls and his birth mother, Twee Nati Niblet. Niblet and her husband drove from San Antonio to Virginia Beach for the emotional reunion. <laughs> thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for, for bringing my son to me. Thank you so much. Oh, God, I love you. Son. Niblet became pregnant at just 17 during the Vietnam War. She says when her father learned of the pregnancy, he became angry because she wasn't married. Plus, the father was an American soldier. She told us what her father did the day her son was born. Took the baby right after I happened. I knew it was a boy. I know it was a boy. Niblet also suffered physical abuse for refusing to go along with a hastily arranged marriage. Keller Hall's biological father transferred to another military base and never knew about the pregnancy. The two eventually lost contact. Niblet came to the U.S. in 1971 and never stopped praying that she would one day find her son. After many disappointments, she turned to the Internet and Family Tree DNA just two years ago. Meanwhile, Keller Halls had hesitated to look, although he had always wanted to know more about his birth family. Finally, he decided to take a chance, and just days after going to the same website, was notified about a possible match. It said parent-child match. Um, I just kind of shook my head and thought, no, that's, there's a mistake, there's, that's impossible. That unlikelihood turned out to be the answer to his mother's unwavering prayers. I, I just knew that, that it was my son because I've been praying. Days after connecting with his mom, Keller Halls also met a brother and sister he never knew existed. Family members are thankful for this once in a lifetime opportunity. I feel blessed. What are you going to call Grandma? Uh, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Keller Halls and Niblet hope their story inspires others. Keep continue believing. Sooner or later, God goes to open that door. We have to be patient. We have to be faithful, as Mom put mm -hmm. it, uh, and trust in His perfect timing. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.